and welcome back to another lip balm review. I think this is the last one of the uh, Hershey's Kisses ones from this collection. There's also a spring pack, but it's just the same um, flavors over again that were already out in this collection, so I saw no point in buying those. But when they do new ones again, I'll probably go for them. But this one is Strawberry Creme. Not cream, it's creme. It has the accent sign, so I'm gonna get this out. Okay. I feel like I already smell it. I definitely already smell it. Mmm. Okay. I had zero patience to wait this time. <laughs> Especially after finding out last time that that was a friggin' repeat. Um, I was just like, I have to know. Tell me it's not another coconut. Um, but yeah, it's not. So, format wise, it's the same weird nipple shaped applicator <laughs> as the other ones. I don't know what's supposed to be a Hershey's Kiss, but honestly, it's a friggin' nipple. Like, honestly. <laughs> like, let's not mince words. It's what it is. Um, packaging wise, same EOC type of rubberized plastic, um, but also cheap plastic at that, because unlike an EOS, you can tell that is cheap. But, um, why am I tapping what does the fox say? I'm like, what, what the hell am I doing? I don't know. Um, these are not natural or organic, they are synthetic. They are limited edition, don't know how long you can find these for, you already might not be able to. So there's that. Um, it was part of a set of four, but you could buy them individually, obviously. Let me take a sip of water. Um, but yeah, so the amount of product, I should know at this point. Point to eight ounces, so a little bit more than a quarter of an ounce, which means it's more than an EOS or a Revo. Somehow. Magically. Yes, I'm playing catch with it in my hands off camera. See, if I do it down low like this where you guys can't see it, apparently I can do it just fine. But if I do it on camera, that's when I drop it. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um, anyways, so shelf life is not listed, I don't think. Yeah, no, it's not. Nope. Okay. Um, see, dropped it. Price point, it depended on where you found it, but I was hearing anywhere between 4 and almost $7, depending on what store you found it at. So, they're kind of pricey for what they are, but I mean, they did inc uh, improve the quality of them, so I guess that meant they had to raise the price to balance that, which kind of sucks, but um, I'd rather pay more and have better quality rather than pay a little bit and be pissed off that they're unusably bad, so there's that. Now, sturdiness-wise, there is no lock position. It just gets to a point where it's firmer, and it'll probably not come off. But yeah, it's not that great on this one. It's pretty loose. So I don't like that. Um, there's no special features or SPF, so I will talk to you about the scent, if it'll come undone. Thank you. Get the water off my mouth. So it's a very rich, artificial strawberry scent. It smells like there's something else in there too. I don't feel like it's cream or creme, but um, it's very sweet. It's almost, almost like it wants to be caramel along with the strawberry which actually that'd be a really good combo but it's not quite and I can't quite put my finger on what it is it's making me crazy <laughs> mud up my nose ew ew what the crap oh my god ew um you know what it does remind me of though a strawberry daiquiri a lot. So there's that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on and see how it is.
Okay. So you do smell it once it's on your lips. And you get just the strawberry at that point. But, um... It's about medium thickness. It's pretty creamy. A little tiny bit waxy, but more just creamy and slick and smooth and oily and... Honestly, feels pretty good. Um, no stickiness, no tackiness. It's a very smooth glide when you rub your lips against each other. There's no friction there. It's really nice. Um, in terms of moisturization, does it do the best job? No, but does it do something? Yeah, in a pinch, it'll definitely do something. It's better than nothing. Um, shine factor wise, it has some going on. Again, not a ton, but it's got some going on. I'm going to go ahead and do the drink test. There's a couple patches where it feels like it did thin out to pretty much nothing, but others where it didn't. I'm gonna count it as a half a point, because it, it did and it didn't pass, so I don't know how exactly to rate it, but I, I'm gonna dock a half a point, so I'll give it the benefit of the doubt with the one half it's keeping, but also deduct for the spots where it did go through. Um, I'm not gonna give this one the wow factor, it, um... Doesn't feel that great. Um, I mean, it, it's good, but it's nothing to write home about. I take it back, the, the feel wasn't what I meant to say. I meant to say the scent. I, again, sleep deprived. But, um... Yeah, okay, so... Format-wise, I still feel like the applicator's a really weird shape and gawky to use. I know it's a novelty thing, but it, it does dock it down for me. You could still do the packaging on the outside to shape it like that, but the inside could just be round like an EOS. Why is this so hard? I don't know. Um, let me think. The price point is pretty high for what they are, so that's another point. Um, the fact that it doesn't really have a good lock mechanism is a point. The, um, the drink test was a half a point and no wow factor, so... I think that leaves us with a five and a half out of ten. Is that right? Yeah. Five and a half out of ten. Because um, there are four full points down and then the half points. So yeah, okay. So, five and a half out of ten. It's one of the weaker ones of this collection, not gonna lie. Um, it's not terrible. It's usable still. But compared to the others, it's, it's pretty weak. So... Anyway, guys, that is it for me for this one. So, as usual, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Do you have this one? Do you have the other ones? What are your thoughts? Let me know, as well as anything else you feel like leaving me. Make sure you're following my social media accounts. They're all listed down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is in the description. So, anyway, guys, until next time, bye.